I'm Iskel Tor, CEO and co-founder of FoodCloud. FoodCloud is a social enterprise that was set up to tackle the problems of food waste and food insecurity. And we do this by connecting the food industry with the charity sector so that when there is good edible food that becomes surplus, um, we can divert that through our two solutions. So through our technology uh, platform and then also through our three warehouses in Ireland. So we've one warehouse in Dublin, uh, we've one in Little Island in Cork and we've one in Oranmore in Galway. We work with over 650 charities in Ireland and these charities uh, provide a range of services within their local communities. So many of them use um, food to complement and enhance the services they provide, whether it's homeless shelters, drug addiction support, youth clubs, community centres. Really there is a huge amount of different ways that the food that we distribute is used through our community groups. And then in addition, we have a partner in the UK, Fairshare, who are a national food redistribution organisation and through them, another 9,000 charities receive surplus food um, through our solutions. My name is Eva O'Brien. I am co-founder and partnerships director at FoodCloud. We have 70 core staff who are supported by a community employment scheme which we work with the Department of Social Protection on where we have people who work with us for 20 hours a week getting experience and helping them back into mainstream employment and then we have an army of volunteers, they're individual volunteers who work with us maybe once a week um, for a long long period of time or corporate volunteers who will come in you know maybe once or twice a year uh, all working together to make sure that we can get food in and out as quickly quickly and as safely as possible. FoodCloud works with over 200 food industry partners from across the supply chain, so retailers like Tesco, Lidl, Aldi, Musgraves, right through to growers like Mead Potato Company and manufacturers, large and small, all working with us to reduce their impact on the environment and supporting communities where they work. FoodCloud has a, a different funding stream, so we have traded income where we retailers pay a fee per store for our service, um, charities pay a small contribution through a membership fee for our hubs, and we also run two government programs. One is the Community Services Program, where we're providing long-term employment opportunities um, for people who are distant from the labour market, and also a food aid programme called FIAD, uh, which is an EU-funded programme. We have a huge number of food industry partners as well, and our lead financial partner is AIB, who renewed a three-year agreement with us um, at the beginning of this year, and have been a significant support in helping us scale up. We've received a lot of uh, public sector funding from the Department of Rural and Community Development. We've been supported through the Rethink Fund and also C ESP. And we've also received several grants from the Department of Agriculture, we're supported by the Department of Social Protection and also from the EPA as well. So we've had very positive government engagement um, really since the early days. As of December 2020, we reached a very important milestone of 100 million meals equivalent redistributed to charities and community groups within Ireland and in the UK and internationally as well. Um, that was a huge milestone that was achieved after eight years of work um, and we've continued to build on that into this year. So in 2020, we actually redistributed 3,000 tonnes of surplus food to community groups in Ireland. Our aim is um, to continuously grow the amount of food we're distributing over time because we recognise that over 30% of food is wasted and whilst not all of this food is possible to redistribute, there is a lot more food out there that isn't being redistributed that really should be at the moment. So uh, we're committed to helping Ireland achieve the Sustainable Development Goal 12.3 which is to have food waste per capita by 2030. Um, and we believe that redistribution can play a very significant role on that journey um, whilst creating a huge positive social impact um, at the same time. So yeah, a lot more work to be done um, but good progress so far. COVID-19 resulted in huge shocks to the food system. So at a time when the first lockdown hit, retail volumes plummeted, but volumes of surplus food arising across the supply chain spiked as the food service sector basically shut down. So we had to respond very quickly. And I suppose we're proud to say that as a result of the work of the team, the food industry and the community sector all working together, we were able to increase the amount of food that we rescued and redistributed by 78% last year. We were able to increase the amount of food we were distributing, but this did mean that we saw an increase in our costs. We had to bring on new staff and we really had to ensure that we had the capacity and the capability to meet this 
new demand. We now see that over the next 10 years, Ireland is going to have to reach a target of halving food waste per capita. In addition to this, we have ambitious goals around having zero hunger um, within our communities. And to actually play a significant role um, in achieving these goals, which we believe food redistribution and food cloud seriously can do, we will need significant support over that time through funding. Um, but there's also opportunities of looking at government policy around food redistribution and making sure that it is a favourable environment to redistribute food. We believe that with the level of social change that is going to have to happen over the next decade, that social enterprise really can be at the forefront of driving and delivering on these changes. The problems that social enterprises are working to solve up and down the country are the most complex, whether it's environmental, social, justice, education. Those social enterprises need strong policy support so that they can just get on and tackle the problems and they also need funding to back that up and take action.